by getting your messaging right, you're more likely to attract the right people, which what I'm saying is then you have a lot more stability in your income stream and the people that take the course are happy because you actually drew the right people into the program. You got it. And it's really important to know what that message is and what the story is that is playing inside of their head so you can speak directly to them. The two most expensive things in business are guessing and educating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the two most expensive things in, in business. If you guess as to what you think the market wants and put it out there, a lot of times it fails. Yeah. And you took all that R&D time and, and, and you put all your resources into creating this thing and you put it onto a market and no one wants it. You got crickets. Yeah. And that's probably because your message was off, right? And then educating the marketplace as to why your product is something that they need is also very expensive. So we try to eliminate that throughout this course and take you through very strategic and tactical ways that you can establish your message and get the information that you need so that you can put a course or a product or a service out into the marketplace that actually is successful. The sort of the flavor of the month in marketing seems to change almost as fast as the news hour. I mean, one minute it's market this way, then it's market this way, and then it keeps changing. And so it's, it's one of those moving targets. But in my studies of marketing, I can't remember what the source of this was. I think it might have been a guy named Brad Sugar, who's a multimillionaire in Australia who teaches courses on how to create financial abundance. The most effective marketing comes by telling the truth attractively. And I think that's one of the things I loved about working with you. It was a lot of marketing is actually um, manipulating people's minds, but then not really delivering the goods. Yep. But what I love about the way you go about it is that you're not actually trying to trick people and use the Edward Bernays approach, but you're really trying to just really make it more clear so the right bait is on the hook for the right fish, so to speak. And that way you you end up with you know the right customers. And I think that's critical because if you have, even if you make a lot of money, if you've got a bun bunch of unsatisfied customers, you're not really winning in the long run. 